Today I am building a Future Stars team on NHL 25. The captain of the Utah Hockey Club, the man who is one of the top scorers in the NHL right now, Clayton Clutch Keller. Just got the winner yesterday night in overtime. He had 76 points, 86 points. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets close to 100 this year. And he is the first player being added to our team. Also going to be using the Utah Hockey Club for this video and seeing if once we build this Future Stars team, can they win a Stanley Cup here in NHL 25? Using Utah, we got to put another couple Utah players because they have been incredible. And this may be the second best line in hockey right now. We have Barrett Hayden, Logan Cooley, and Dylan Gunther. Gunther has five goals all ready to start the season. Just got his new extension. Logan Cooley has five assists. And Barrett Hayden also has five points. They are all top 10 in the league in scoring at the moment I'm recording this. They are 3-0. and This line is a major part, and that is why they are being added to the Future Stars team. We can't add all Utah players, so we're going to swing over to New Jersey, take a couple of the best bottom six players in the league. Because they deserve love too, you know? They may not be Future Stars. But these guys are clicking on all cylinders right now, and it is Paul Cotter and Stefan Nason has just got kind of lucky i mean he he is like a 50 percent shooting right now i don't think that's gonna stay up but i believe he's gonna smash his career high of 25 points stefan nason also has five points this year they are a dynamic duo on that bottom six for new jersey and that's why they're getting added into this team enough of the randoms let's get to the star players starting off let's start in net we have samuel montembeau and devin levi Montembeau is being considered the goalie for Canada's Four Nations Cup tournament in February, which is crazy for somebody last year who had a 903 save percentage, 901, 891. But Montembeau has been so incredible to start this year, and that is why he is getting into our team, and he honestly could be the next breakout goalie. Jacob Fowler, move aside, Samuel Montembeau is coming your way, and then, I mean, Devin Levi, wow, these are two Florida draft picks. Devin Levi, he's been all right to start the year, I mean, he's been a lot better than last year, I think last year was very shaky, but Devin Levi, he has elite potential for a reason, and I am very high on Devin Levi, I think he's the future of goaltending, and that is why he is joining our team. The next player we are adding to this team is Jonathan Kovacevic, and you might be like, who the hell is this guy? That's a great question because I barely knew him either. Jonathan Kovacevic, his career high in points is 15, but I mean, Winnipeg Jets legend, you know? But Kovacevic is one of the top scoring defensemen in the NHL this year for the New Jersey Devils. He has been incredible. And I don't think he's going to keep it up, but you know, from a guy who scored 13 points to a guy who could become a two-way defenseman in the next NHL, that's a big improvement. Speaking of big improvements, when this guy was on his previous team in the playoffs, he's shown, but in the regular season, he did absolutely nothing, but the St. Louis Blues bet on his talent, and now Philip Broberg is looking rewarding of their payments. Blues have been so much more fun than I thought, and I promise you, this isn't the only St. Louis Blue that we are adding to the team. But Philip Broberg has been incredible to start the year. He is looking so worth this $4.5 million extension, and that is why he is joining Team Future Stars. Now, if you're a top 10 pick, you're a projected future star. But this guy, nobody really thought of him as a future star, but Caden Gooley is one of the top scoring defenseman in the NHL. He is also one of the top analytical defensemen in the NHL. Just got this massive new extension which it doesn't show in season mode for some reason but six years more Montreal you have of this guy. A guy who could wear the A on this sweater. He has been incredible this year and I mean at 22 years old this is looking the future is looking bright in Montreal. You could have guessed it. He's not the only Canadians blue liner we are adding to the team. One of my three favorite players in the NHL, Lane Hudson, has being added as well. Hudson is everything he was hyped up to be and more. He has looked slightly shaky sometimes in his own end, but that's growing pains with a rookie. 
he has been incredible in transition, carrying the puck, creating plays in the offensive end. He has been rewarded with three assists this year. It's only a matter of time before he scores his first goal, but he is on pace. If he plays a thousand NHL games, he's on pace to get a thousand career assists. I mean, I, I, if you watch my old videos, I projected it. Lane Hudson's going to be a superstar. I mean, everybody said it. But, like, I said it before everybody said it. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Anyways, this next player has thought to be... Many people have thought him to be a superstar, but he hasn't really broke out until this season. They've given him top power play time, and Shea Theodore has really, really shown this year. You know, Shea Theodore, his career high, 52 points right here. That is getting absolutely shattered this year. He almost had a point per game last year. No one really knew that because they only check the final stats. They don't check the games played. They don't check the points per game. But I'm here for you, Shea. And I knew you were going to have a big year. I drafted you in both my fantasy leagues, and it's paying off because Shea Theodore, you were on this Future Stars team. Now, you might be like, what the hell? Shea Theodore is not going to be a future star. He already is a star. Yeah, he's going to be a future superstar. And it's same with this guy. J Money Josh Morrissey, future Norris winner. Am I biased? Yes. Do I give a shit? No. Josh Morrissey has been incredible this year. He does not get the respect he deserves on the offensive end. He does not get put up in those conversations. And, I mean, he was almost a point per game two years ago he was one of the top scoring defensemen again last year and he was a plus 34 he was way better in his own end he's been incredible this year power play penalty kill you name it one of the top defensemen in the nhl and i mean that 89 rating it is going to skyrocket up sooner rather than later that's our six defensemen you guys let me know if i missed anybody on the defense or in the net but, I mean, this is the time you guys have all been waiting for. Welcome to the forwards. Now, we're going to start with Martin Prospel here. Pospisil, you guys don't know who the hell this is, but look up the stats. He has four points. Watch the tape. He has been way better than the 78 overall. I'm projecting a jump. You know, maybe not too much. You know, like a solid 81 by the end of the year. But projections is key. And this guy I'm projecting to be way better than this actual future stars now like star stars and this guy could already be considered a star nhl already considers him a star they have his overall way up there but i don't blame them especially with this season he's having right now you could say he's been the best player on this team i gotta watch them play they are playing the first period right now but i'm grinding these videos out and matt boldy i hope you don't score today matthew boldy has been incredible he has more points than Kaprizov, more points than Favor, more points than Rossi, Erickson X, Zuccarello. He is the wild top scorer. Now that doesn't mean the best player, but they had the Kaprizov jump. Then they had the Favor jump. Is this the next guy who's going to jump to stardom here in Minnesota? But Boldy's projecting was a bit easier. You know, you project a 23-year-old to get way better. Especially if he's playing with like Kaprizov and Faber and whatever, right? But like imagine a dude who's like almost 30. Would you project him to randomly lead the league in scoring? Yeah, I don't think so. Ivan Barbashev is the leading scorer of the NHL. Granted, he is playing on Stone and Eichel's line. But Stone and Eichel get talked about so much. Ivan Barbashev gets no respect. And I'm here to give it to you, Ivan. Pause. Yo. Barbashev has always been underrated. He's always been a great player. And ever since he got to Vegas here this season, 2023-2024, I mean, he got there at the trade deadline as well. He was incredible in that uh, Stanley Cup run. But, like, I mean, this year he's going to have a major breakout year. He's playing on the top line. Don't be surprised if Ivan Barbashev sets a career high in points. This next player, though, physically cannot set a career high in points because he's a rookie. But, I mean, you have Max Ora if you if you score an assist in your first ever NHL game. Macklin Celebrini, we don't even need to talk about this. Future star already, no question. So we have two more players to add to this team. They are both going to be on the first line. We have gone up the lines, and these two players can be future 
trophy winners, future number one line players on championship teams, starting off with one of the fastest players in the NHL, Jordan Cairo. The most underrated duo in the league has to be Thomas and Cairo, but Robert Cairo, what, what did I just say? I almost said Robert Cairo. Iru, I mean, he has been silently a silent killer. Same with Robert Thomas. I feel like Thomas gets more praise, though. Jordan Kyrie had 75 points here, 73 points here, 67 points last year. He is bound to get a point per game season, and I think it's going to be this year. These X-Factors, holy, if he doesn't get a gold one of ankle breaker, puck on a string, or wheels, this is going to be the most disrespect from EA. But this last guy has never got disrespected by EA Sports. He has always got glazed. Everyone said he was overrated. Now, that rating is properly deserved. The final player from your Montreal Canadiens is Cole Caulfield. He's talking about, oh, they got Demidov, they got Lane Hudson, there's Slavkovsky's coming up. Suzuki, quietly, quietly. Quietly, this guy had 65 points last year and he is on pace for a point per game and I know he will get I'm calling my shot right now All three of these players on this first line are going point per game this year and if I'm wrong um, Just comment something to do not guarantee I will do it But yeah, here is your future stars team. Let me know if I missed anybody in the comments but now we are going to simulate till the end of the year and see if this team can make it to the playoffs first of all and then win a Stanley Cup. Damn, this did not go the way I was expecting. I guess that's why they call it Future Stars. Samuel Montembeau, 29, 25, and 3, 909, Devin Levi, you were the reason we failed. Get the hell off the team. So Montembeau, I'm going to need to upgrade. Let me know what I should upgrade these guys to. Josh Morrissey had 59 points. Lane Hudson, 33 as a rookie. Theodore, 26. Broberg, 18. Gooley, 15. And Kovacic, 10. 10. Here are your forward stats. Keller and Caulfield led the way. Jordan Cairo, only 56 points. Salvarini had 50 on the third line. Where the hell is Barrett Hayden? Maybe that's what maybe we should have put Barrett Hayden lower on the lineup. Let me know what I should upgrade these guys to, what their NHL rating should be. Let me know if I missed any future stars. And then also, let me know which team you want me to see me build next. And I'll see you guys in the next video.